This thing's putting out ponies. Late night vlog, late night deal. The beat my escape is running like absolute garbage. We're on the way to go get an ATV. I've been looking for another deal. I showed you guys a few months back that I bought an enduro, half bike, half uh, motorcycle, and uh, I haven't driven it a lot, to tell you the truth. It's been raining a lot here in Florida. I'm new to the whole environment, so it rains a lot. I had no idea that it rained a lot down here. I do know now that it is humid. Didn't do a lot of research on this day before I moved down here from New York, but we're learning. Enduro. I filmed the whole thing, but the way I edited it, uh, I'm kind of regretting the way I edited it. So this time around, we're gonna do it the the original 3D Machines way. I'm in like the. I'm out of the city. Okay, I am in the country. I am in the country part of Florida. Now, this is slightly sketchy, you know, you do find four-wheelers and stuff on the outskirts of cities in New York, but uh, out here, if I go missing, my friends aren't an hour or two away, they're 18, 19 hours away, so hopefully 3D Machine survives this transaction. Nowadays, you just never know. It's down there. Down down there. Jake the toilet snake buddy, really wish you were here. We survived. Jake, throw this thing. not available. Buddy, I was in a super sketchy transaction and you're sleeping on the job. Even if things went haywire, you would have been in bed anyways and up in New York. So we made it. The only thing is, is you're really not gonna be able to see it too good. It is behind me, as you can see there. You know what, actually, let me turn on the light. Man, I got the power in me. I also did a wardrobe change. Can't get better than that. Let's check this thing out. This is the nicest four-wheeler I've owned since the Bruin 350 that I got in fifth grade. And I had that up until like two years ago, finally sold that, but we upgraded. This thing is a 750. Also, this thing is my first Suzuki I've ever owned. I've owned a Suzuki motorcycle, but this is my first Suzuki four-wheeler. Let's check this thing out. So it's a King Quad. It's got brand new wheels and tires. Look at these things. They still have the little knobby things on the side of it. Awesome. Pipes looking real clean. That's probably, no, that says Suzuki on that, so that's not aftermarket, but that's really clean. I guess it's a 2014. The kid kept it in pretty good shape other than riding it through the mud. You guys know me, I don't buy new stuff. This this needs some work. But luckily, people down here like the mud bogs, and luckily not everybody knows how to fix the stuff they ruin through the mud bogs. That's where 3 Machines comes in. But check this thing out, I can't get over how clean it is. It's got the radiator relocate, so they definitely wanted to go through mud. They didn't want stuff getting up in there and clogging this all up, so they put this on there. They got the snorkels. 
and everything just looks super clean, super good. I even have the plastic there. I think I have everything for this and some extras. It's got a whole new set of wheels as well. These are the stock wheels and tires, and those things aren't even bad. This guy was definitely pro Second Amendment. <laughs> Check out the shifter. <laughs> I have the key inside. Well, it looks like the camo here kind of got wore out. Probably sitting on it and maybe just, you know, sitting on there having a, another passenger where they shouldn't be. Let's check out the controls here. So we have, okay, this is kind of like how the Yamahas are. It's like the exact same toggle. Uh, I like that wench mechanism. Small and out of the way, I can appreciate that. You put the parking brake on, so that works. Our four wheel drives on this side. That shifter though. <laughs> okay, I just went to step off and he's got something missing here because I mean that's folding in on itself. If we come over on this side, it should be supported by something. Yeah, see? Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Oh, yep. Something happened. Snapped off there. That's okay. You're supposed to keep your foot there anyways. Let's check out the rear here. He's even got a light in the back here. I wonder if he has that wired so that when it's only in reverse that's on. We'll check that out later. It's got a little storage container. That's kind of neat. That's really cool. But did you guys notice the problem? I did pan over and if you have very, very, very good eyes, you would see there's a slight issue in one of the areas. If you said engine, you are correct. This bolt is actually out. Now the kid said it wouldn't idle and it was giving him issues in the smoking department and you know, you, not really, <sighs> smoking isn't good, Any anything, you or machines, especially you, take care of your health. Vape Nation will appreciate that. The kid wanted to tear into it, so he tore all the plastics off, he told me, he tore that thing out and he got to that and he says, well, I'm probably in too far over my head. And that's when he probably put his ad online and then 3D Machines found it. He did turn it over, it does move. Hopefully it doesn't knock. Hopefully it's just rings or something small. It's also got a wench and it's got a nice wench, not a Harbor Freight wench, which is nothing wrong with a Harbor Freight wench, but you know, those are the common ones. This is more of, you know, if that's a Ford or a Chevy, this is like the, the Cadillac or the Lincoln. I don't know if it's the Rolls Royce, but it's it's up there. It's a worn. All right, let's see what kind of goodies it comes with under the seat here. Okay, so it looks like his wench stuff. Is that a programmer? And when I say programmer, I mean a tune. Go Hawk. That's gotta be a tune. So this thing's putting out. This thing's putting out ponies. And then our box of goodies, we have the plastic, another piece of plastic, and then a couple new CV axles. They're still in the packaging, which is nice. A brand new belt. Uh, the exhaust thing here, we can make it look a little prettier, I guess. Something like that. So I think I've only ever ridden one Suzuki, and I do believe it was like a 700, 750, if they make a 700. Uh, my uncle Ryan had one, and I was impressed with how quick the rear wheels would spin once you got on it. Pretty impressive, so when I saw this, I kind of had an idea of what I could expect, and I'm excited. So I hope you guys stay tuned for the next 3D Machines production. Until next time, 3D Machines and the King Quad out. We're gonna tear this thing apart, we'll see what's wrong with it. Hopefully we can fix it. Okay, I gotta show you real quick that it does turn over, otherwise you guys won't believe me. See? Woohoo!